All right, my name is Daniel Hightower. I'm from Dallas, Texas. Um, I've been out here for a little over a week now with the Dean King. Hello, my name is Joe Ray. I'm from a little town called Punchatoula. It's in Louisiana. Uh, I got five kids, got a wife. I uh, have my own detail business currently back in Louisiana. And um, I served right at eight years in the Army. I was a fueler, which is a 92 Foxtrot. And uh, I did that. I done traveled around a little bit with it. I was uh, deployed to Iraq for a year. And I went to Korea. I done been to Colorado, Fort Carson in Colorado, uh, Fort Sill, Oklahoma. And Korea was my last duty station when I uh, ended up ETS and out the uh, military. And uh, now I just got my run my own detail business back home with me and my son. I used my post 9-11 GI Bill. Uh, I was in the military for eight years. I uh, found out that Dean King started accepting post 9-11 GI Bill, so I figured, you know, put that to use and come out here and learn some new skills. So this is it, guys. Five weeks of training. You guys uh, finished up. We did a couple weeks of paintless dent repair. We did our windshield repair training. We did wheel restoration. We did interior repair, headlights, odor. odor. You guys did everything. I think the only two things you guys didn't do was our smart repair system, right? And our uh, ceramic coating paint correction. Right. Yeah. But, you know, after, after all those weeks, a lot of information, a lot of words and, and, and tools and techniques and all this stuff that you guys learned, how do you guys feel? Um, confident and, you know, excited taking something new into, you know, what we do since we're both in the detailing industry. Um, just ready to get out there and get started make some money yeah i feel like you know it's everything i did i can incorporate into what i already do and it's something that i you know always i'm always looking for that next thing what's next because i mean you can only detail so much but while you detail you always see the other stuff that you can do you know and instead of having to call somebody you can actually do it yourself so it'd be a one-stop shop as i as i look at it yeah i couldn't tell you how many times i get people that like oh do you know somebody that can patch up my leather for me or, you know, fix this rock chip or, you know, just, I, I can do it now. So. I served in the Army for eight years. I started out in Colorado Springs, Fort Carson, uh, did a year in Iraq from there. Um, after Iraq, went back to Fort Carson, then ended up going over to Korea for a year. Um, it's real cool. The Ding King made it real easy to use my post 9-11 GI Bill and get out here. I actually brought one of my buddies that was in the military with me out here. Um, he's getting the same exact training, so it's always good to know a friendly face. Um, I chose PDR. I own a auto detail company back in Dallas, and uh, I just want to expand my, my company a little bit more, offer you know new essentials, new tools, uh, new, new ways to you know better serve my clients. So PDR, alloy wheel repair, um, odor eliminator, um, interior repair, rock chip repair, just all that that the Dean King offers, I can, you know, incorporate that into my company. So with my auto detailing company, um, we are mobile. We do anything from, you know, just basic car washes to paint correction, paint enhancement, uh, ceramic coating. So I'm always looking for ways to expand my business. Um, and when I heard about the Dean King and everything they have to offer, such as the, the windshield repair, um, the PDR, everything I'm learning here, I just feel like, you know, I've already got my foundation set with my detailing company. So w with all the tools and, you know, things that I'm able to learn here, I can implement that into my company and just basically produce more for my clients, for my customers. Um, eventually, you know, transition from being mobile to setting up a, a shop location, um, have more clients come in towards me, whether it's just for you know a simple ding or or backed up with hail repair. So with my post 9-11 GI Bill, I just basically typed in paintless dent repair training. Um, ding King was the first one that popped up. So I clicked on that and I started requesting information about that. Well, I got an email from Cher here, works in the front office and uh, she ended up emailing me. We started talking back and forth. She, you know, gave me a list of some of the programs that are offered here at the Dean King. Um, we ended up talking on the phone and decided which package it is that I wanted to do. So right now I'm doing a five week package and uh, I'll end up coming back later on this year for a 12 week package. 
Um, Cher made it real easy. It just a, a few emails. I sent her maybe three documents and everything was taken care of. I got confirmation emails saying, hey, you've already been enrolled. The post 9-11 GI Bill has been accepted within a day or two of me communicating with her. So the whole process was very easy. It's very simple. The easiest process, I've gone to maybe four different schools using my post 9-11 GI Bill in the past. Everything that uh, in the past was just a pain. It was such a hassle to where for a while, I wasn't sure that I wanted to do this just because of the hassle that it is trying to use the post 9-11 GI Bill. Easiest process I've ever been through. I chose to do PDR because that's something I could incorporate with my uh, auto detailing business that I currently have. Cleaning a lot of cars and you know you see them be finished and then you start looking and be like, man, they got a dent right there. And incorporating that into my business that I already currently have will help, you know, also make the cars look a lot better. It'd be a full recondition almost. And that's one of the main reasons I chose PDR and it's something that helped with putting money in my pocket also for my kids. And that's one of the main reasons I chose it. Now, a little history for guys that don't really know about you guys, and I don't know if you guys already introduced yourself and, and said this about yourselves, but you guys both came down here together. You guys actually been friends for a long time. You guys served together, yep. right? Yep. Um, and, and you used your post 9-11 GI Bill um, to come out here. Right. Right. Correct so far? Yep. Now, now what, what branch of the service did you guys serve? Army. Army. Both in the Army, yeah. Yep. So you guys, have, you guys have known each other for a long time. Now, you guys don't live near each other anymore. No, nah, we're six, about six hours apart. Six hours. Okay. But you guys are now out of the service. You guys both came down here to school together. You guys actually have a pretty similar business yep. that yep. you both do, but in different states, right? So tell right. me about that. What do you guys do? I'm a, I am detail vehicles, uh, mainly just the simple stuff. I don't do ceramic coating yet. I just do normal detail, full, a full interior, exterior detail, whatever it is that you need. I'm mobile some days, and some days I actually, I'm at home. So it just depends. I try to carry myself to the clients, you know, so I'm, I'm flexible for them, because some people is, you know, they rather you come to their house, or some people they could just drop it off while they're at work, or I go pick it up while they're at work. Mm -hmm. It just depends. And uh, my son helps me a little bit, but, you know, for the main part, it's me. And uh, we just go from there. That's, what I, that's how I got my business running right now, which I've been doing for the last three years, almost four years now. So. About you? Mine's pretty much the same scenario. Um, see, I've been detailing for about three, three and a half years now. Uh, mine's mobile as well. I've got everything set up inside of a trailer. So, you know, I pull up to a client's house, job, you know, wherever they're at and knock it out. Um, I do the ceramic coating, paint correction. Mm -hmm. um, now I'm gonna be able to do like, you know, PDR, everything we learned here. But uh, yes, yeah, same scenario, just so, mobile detailing. You know, with that, for both of you guys, you guys aren't really new to the, the, the auto industry per se, right? right. And, and, and the other plus with that is you guys already have your foot in the door, which a lot of times is half the battle. Right. You yep. guys have the customers already. Yep. Now it's a matter of incorporating these other services, you know, with these customers and these repairs that you're doing, you know? Now, I know you're coming back. You're coming back in a couple weeks. You're not coming back after all. I don't know or, you. Or not, we're not sure. We're not sure of the right now. He'll be back. <laughs> I, I, I was thinking about this the other day with you two guys. You guys have been buddies, for, you know, for for several years now. You met in service, and, and and you guys remained friends this whole time. You guys have went to, I think, you know, detail training together, right? And then you came out here. Did you guys do detail training. I, yeah, I went to no. training. He didn't do it after all. But yeah. you guys, but you guys have similar business, you know, plans and similar businesses that you run. You guys ever think about moving near each other and doing business together, or or? I told him I'm trying to see because my daughter, she graduates in uh, May. Mm -hmm. And so I'm trying to be nice because, you know, the military is always up and root, up root and just move. So I got you. we try okay. to be nice and let us stay with our friends one last year. And I'm trying to move to Dallas, actually. That's what I want, if I want to so be That's in the works. He's so, been yeah, telling me works. for 10 or 11 years that he'll be moving to Dallas. Yeah, so that's why, that's <laughs> like I said, it's, it's in the works. It's just, you know, yeah. slow, yeah. methodical process. So, you know, but with all the services we did here, you know, here at, at the school here that, you know, that we learned, the systems that we learned here, that you guys learned, what would you say is the most difficult and why? PDR. Yeah, PDR. Mainly because you, you think it's easy process just pushing some metal, but it really ain't. It's and not. your eyes play tricks on you sometimes. You got to mm -hmm. walk away and just come back and do it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's always, you know, when I first started, like for me, I first started, you know, I, I thought I was seeing something and I know I was seeing it, but it wasn't moving. When I was seeing it, just wasn't moving. I'm like, okay, maybe I ain't got it on like I think I do. Mm -hmm. And it's understanding the lights, understanding that, hey, you got to take a deep breath and just flow with it and go with it and just try to see. Yeah. Uh, it's a practice. Mm -hmm. It's definitely every day. Uh, for me, my patience, 
you saw me out there a few minutes ago when we were painting how I just <laughs> get to go in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as long as I can, you know, remind myself to slow down, I think I'll, I'll get it. But, you know, I'm coming back next month for the 12 week PDR, mm -hmm. so I'll get my practice. So my experience in detailing, you know, um, I could just be driving down the road and I will see a vehicle with swirls and, you know, just little dents and dings. You notice that because, you know, in the detailing industry, you're trying to pay such attention to detail. Um, being here, it makes it easy for me. Uh, I'm familiar with the whole clear coat and, you know, how to heat it up, uh, doing the paint corrections. Um, so you kind of know whenever you're pushing a dent, about how much it'll flex. I mean, I still get high spots. I'm not perfect on it. I'm still learning the whole PDR thing, but I feel like it's an advantage for me because, you know, I'm so familiar with the vehicles and doing my auto detailing. I chose the Dean King because my uh, battle buddy that I had in Iraq with me, he actually told me about it, which he details. And so once he told me about it, he was like, man, they take our post 9-11 GI Bill. So I was like, well, that's a win-win for me then. And so I did a little research, seeing what it was all about, seeing how, how, you know, what the process was. And uh, the lady share here, she really helped me a lot. And it was a quick process, one of the quickest ones I've seen with the post 9-11 GI Bill. And uh, I'm happy that I was able to do that because there's no worries. And it also helps with your BAH and all that, using your post 9-11 GI Bill to help you take care of your stay here while you're here. So it was a wonderful situation, quick and easy process. I recommend anybody to do it. Now it's good that we're not allowed to, you know, smack our students with a with this stick or anything anymore. Because these two guys, you know, <laughs> talking about having patience. <laughs> <laughs> these dudes would have several bruises on their legs, man, as they were, as they were pushing their, their dents out or, or even painting, like I said a couple minutes ago. Um, now, you know, lastly, what, what would you guys say now, you know, from, from Monday a couple weeks back to, to where you're at now, if you can tell your, you know, first day Daniel and first day Joe Ray, hey, do this. If you can tell yourself, do this. That one piece of advice, what would you guys say to, to yourselves? I would say be patient. It don't happen overnight. You know, take your time and soak up everything you can. You know, don't think you know it all and because you've seen some videos or you've seen this. Come with an open mind and just take it slow. It ain't a fast process. It takes time to learn the lights and learn where your tool is at, finding your tool and stuff. Just take your time. Same thing, patience, practice. Um, you know, I find myself back at the hotel each night. I know he does it too, but things that y'all tell us, whether it's about a tool or a technique or something, look it up and, you know, just keep, keep learning. You can never learn too much. Exactly, you can always keep learning. Well, guys, thank you for, for you know, first off, for you guys' service. Thank you for choosing the Dinking coming to us. Um, you know, we, we wish you guys all the not the luck because it's not luck right we, we just wish that you just keep push, pushing forward and, and don't stop doing just that don't stop pushing and i don't just mean that with pdr but just period in business and everything you guys do like you said there's always something new to learn keep going with this you know we're here for you guys we say that time and time again you heard us say that over and over and over again we take advantage of that and like i tell everybody else out there that you know watch their videos call us up this is here we're yep. here this is what we do you know we hope that we uh Hope that we, we see you. I know I'm gonna see you in a couple months, but yep. hopefully you come back also, man. See it's where you're at. It depends on school you know. right now. It just depends on school with this stuff going on. We'll go from there. So it's still up in the air. Yeah. It's in the works. Yeah. Maybe right around that time when he comes back to school, he'll be moving over to Dallas at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Never know. <laughs> hey, but for you guys out there, if you guys have any questions, make sure that you guys reach out to us. Give us a call at 1-800-304-3464. Reach us on the web at thedingking.com. Now, just like these guys here, you know, they decided to exercise and use their Post 9-11 GI Bill. The Dinking has recently been approved to start accepting the Post 9-11 GI Bill and all other chapters along with vocational rehabilitation. And, and if you do have questions on, on that and how to actually use that to come to one of our schools, you know, again, reach out to us. Again, reach us on the web, thedinking.com. Reach us on Facebook. Reach us on this YouTube channel or on our Instagram page. Or like I said, just give us a call at 1-800-304-3464. So from us here at the Ding King, we hope that you guys have a great Independence Holiday weekend. Enjoy your 4th of July. Happy 4th of July from all of us. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll be seeing you guys pretty soon.